Hi, I am Thomas. This is That Street Food. Today we are visiting Talat Ratfe Isranagarin, or as it's called by the train night market. It is one of the most popular street food night markets in Bangkok. It is a massive open air night market. This market is quite far from central Bangkok, but it's a great little gem to see and experience especially if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city and looking for a new place to explore, eat, and enjoy shopping at the same time. Srinakarin Train Night Market is located on Srinakarin Soy 51, just behind Seekin Square Shopping Mall. The main entrance to Talad Rat Fay Srinakarin is between Seekin Square Shopping Center and Heha 55 Mall. It's lined up with a series of open-air bars featuring live bands and eateries. The most attractive point of Talad Rat Fate E.S. Rinakarin is the atmosphere which is unique and different, if compared to other markets. The whole place is very lively with a lot of local Thais coming here to hang out on weekend evening. There's a nice mix of new and vintage goods being sold, but Train Market is more than just a shopping venue. It's the chillax place to sit, eat, drink, and try something new. There is a large section at the back of Sri Nakrin occupied by food stalls and few restaurants. Here you can find local foods with something weird and amazing food offerings. Here are some of the amazing foods and places to eat we love. Diao Maklong Ling Sad or Spicy Pork Mountain is an iconic dish created by Diao Maklong and you've probably seen it on many social media feeds. It is an extremely popular dish in Thailand. Chef Tui Ranger the super tender ribs from Chef Tui Ranger have always been one of the best selling food items at Srina Car and Train Market. They are so tasty. You have to try them. You will find plenty of seafood items such as grilled prawns and salted grilled fish. Hoi Todd Crispy Mussels Omelette. Hoi Todd is a Thai style crispy omelet that looks like a fried pancake with mussels and is served with a chili sauce. Talat Rot Fai Srina Karin is our place to go for Hoi Todd. The omelets here are cooked well, crispy, and very nice. Usually, we order seafood hoi tod, and the seafood is always fresh. The deep fried chicken wings are a great snack. It's crispy and really delicious. You can order them coated with paprika powder, DQ powder, cheese powder, or even chili flakes to add up more taste. These crispy chicken wings are very cheap as they cost a few beauty piece. The taste is surprisingly good for the price. Gung Tung is a famous Thao style seafood dish. Delicious grilled seafood is served on paper and the basket with plastic gloves is provided for you to eat your food. They serve prawns, squids, and other seafood of your choice for a local price that is much lower than in restaurants and offers a better value for money. Our recommendation is to come to the market with an empty stomach and to enjoy this Thai seafood dish. Another recommendation for seafood lovers is deep fried soft shell crabs. These crabs are fried to crispy and golden. The whole crab can be eaten. We ordered just one set to try and got many crabs for only 20 baht. We also love the spotted Babylon, which is a kind of sweet sea snails that are a bit crunchy in texture. If you love seafood and cheese, this dish offers a good combination of them both. Not only spotted Babylon can be eaten with cheese here, but also shrimps, oysters, or scallops. Here you can find many unusual snacks. How about crunchy fried shrimp heads is a good snack if you want to try something new. Shrimp heads are fried until they become golden brown and really delicious. The coatings such as paprika powder or chili flakes can be chosen to add up more taste. You will find takoyaki, which are one of Japan's best known street food dishes, but it can be found as well. It is made of a savory pancake batter shaped into round balls and filled with cooked seafood. The taste is quite sweet due to the mayonnaise and sauce on top. It costs 5 baht east. Grilled bananas are one of our favorite snacks. Bananas are placed on sticks and roasted until golden brown. Then a heavy object such as a rolling pin is used to press bananas slightly flat and let them soak with the coconut salt. This snack is very delicious. Expect to pay 20 baht for one stick of banana. There are many thanks to dessert shops and cafes at here too, offering good contrast to the spicy meat. Long Che Cafe is one of the most popular places to grab a dessert at the market. The main concept of Talat Rot, Face Srinakarin, is classic retro and vintage style. At the market, you can find a handful of vintage shops selling art and handicraft, vintage furniture, retro clothing and accessories, toys, and much more. There is a garage full of very picturesque vintage vehicles such as Volkswagen vans, 
Chevys, and old farm trucks. Not all of Train Market is about vintage as you can find clothing, shoes, bags, glasses, collections, dolls, mobile accessories, electronics, and other modern stuff here. The vendors are laid back and no pushy for sales. The prices are also reasonable. Srinakarin Night Market is open from Thursday until Sunday, from 5 p.m. until 1 p.m. There you have it, everything you need to know about Srinakarin Night Market. We are on a tight budget, so we love eating the street food. It's cheap, delicious, and there are so many options to choose from. The train station is a great place to try new dishes. So if you're looking for an authentic, fat street food experience, be sure to visit the train station in Bangkok. You won't be disappointed. We are traveling from the very bottom to the very top of Thailand, visiting every province, city, and every night market in Thailand looking for the best and most unusual street foods Thailand has to offer. So hit subscribe so not to miss a video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on our food adventures. Do not forget to hit that like button and share this video if you liked it. Have a great day.